One of my favorite features in Chatfuel is the ability to convert people who comment on your page posts into bot subscribers. This is particularly exciting if you have a Facebook page with hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of likes, because odds are you're getting decent organic engagement and you can turn those people into bot subscribers who are engaged with your brand. The question of course is how do you set this up? And that's what I'll show you in this lesson. Before I do though, just some context. In this example, I'll pretend that I am a sock brand, a sock company, and we'll be doing a giveaway post on Facebook where we tell people to comment their favorite color. Based on that, we will segment them as subscribers and enter them into the giveaway. At the end of that giveaway, we'll pick one winner who gets, say, a lifetime supply of socks. So first and foremost, we need to create a Facebook page post where we will be responding to these comments in Messenger. You can also use an existing post and it doesn't matter if it's text, an image, a video, a Facebook Live, anything will work essentially. So I'm gonna create a post here. I've already written it, so I'm just gonna paste it in here, which is if you could wear any pair of socks, what color would they be? We're encouraging people to comment here and we'll publish that post. Once it's published, we're going to click the timestamp and then copy the link in our browser. So I'm gonna copy that URL then head into Chatfuel, specifically into the Grow tab under the Acquire Users from Comments module. Once we're there, I'm gonna create a couple different rules and that'll make more sense in a second. So I'm going to click Add Rule and let's call this Blue Socks. So in this example, we'll be responding to people only if they comment blue as the color and then we'll set up another example here in just a second. For track comments under, we wanna choose a specific post. We don't just wanna to respond to people who comment on any post because that could come off as super spammy and we wanna avoid that. I'll paste in the URL here of that specific post. And then instead of replying to all comments in the same fashion, I'm gonna choose respond to comments matching a rule. In this case, if they type in blue. You could also type in other options like navy, etc., other shades of blue. Then for reply with, this is the message that users are going to get as soon as they comment on that post, assuming that their comment matches this rule, either blue or navy. So if they comment on the post, they're gonna get this message from the bot, and then once they respond to that message, they'll be counted as a subscriber. So to encourage them to respond and be counted as a subscriber, we're gonna tell them and prompt them to type in a keyword. So we'll say, type blue, to confirm your giveaway entry. Great, so we are tracking comments on this specific post only to this specific rule, and then we're encouraging them to type in a keyword to subscribe. And then once they type in that keyword, we're gonna use the AI tab to redirect them to a block where we're tagging them with an attribute so we know in the future when we're retargeting them what their favorite color is. Great, so we have that set up. Now let's make another rule here for red. We'll call this red socks, specific post, same URL, comments matching a rule. We can type red, maroon, etc. And we'll do the same thing, but tell them to type in a different keyword so they're tagged differently in chat field. So we'll say type red to confirm your giveaway entry. Excellent. Of course, we'd wanna do this for all of the possible colors, you know, Roy G. Biv, the essentials. So there we go, we are all set up on that front. Now what we are left to do is in the Setup AI tab here, we need to set up those keyword redirects that we're telling users to type in. And by the way, if this seems a little abstract, don't worry, I'm gonna take you through this process on the user side of things step by step in just a second here. So we'll create one keyword for red and another for blue. Great, and we'll create corresponding blocks. So we'll say blue socks, giveaway, and then red socks giveaway. Oops. Okay, perfect. So let's go back into the automate tab then. And on each of these blocks, we can set attributes accordingly. So if they type in blue, we're gonna set up an attribute and call it sock color is blue. And as you could imagine on the red socks block, we'll do the same. Sock color is red. Okay, great. So again, the workflow, the user comments on this page post, 
Once they do that, they are redirected to, or they're prompted to type in the keyword. Once they do that, they're sent to one of these blocks. They're tagged, segmented, and then we can give them a confirmation message saying, hey, you've entered the giveaway. So we could also add another attribute that we probably should that just says entered giveaway and set that to true. So we don't need to select all these different colors when we wanna reach the people and say, hey, this is the giveaway winner. So again, entered giveaway is true. So we'll set both of those attributes. Awesome, and then we'll add that confirmation message saying, thanks for entering. We'll announce the winners on December 31st, for example. And I'll copy the same message for the Red Sox. Excellent. So we have all of this set up. Now all that we're left to do is comment on that post. So I'm going to go here. I'm gonna comment from my personal profile because it won't work if I comment on the page. I'm gonna type in my favorite color, which is blue. All right, so now if I go to Messenger, I should get a message. There we go. Okay, so I commented on the post, I get this message. Again, at this point, I'm not counted as a subscriber. I need to double opt in. This is required by Facebook on all Messenger platforms. So it says type blue to confirm your giveaway entry. I'll do just that. And I will get redirected to the block here in just a second. There we go. So now I'm tagged in the background. Thanks for entering. We'll announce the winners on December 31st. Of course, now when December 31st comes and I want to announce these winners, I can then go into the broadcast tab. I could deliver now or schedule for later and say, okay, I want to target people who entered giveaway and if that attribute is set to true I want to then send a message to all of those users of course the other benefit here is just the data of even if the people didn't win we know their preferred sock color and we can target them accordingly so that is how the acquire users from comments feature in chat fuel works it is super effective and a great way to grow your subscriber base